Watch this. So what exactly is Canvas? A new way of working with ChatGPT to write and to code. So as we go over here, take a look at this example right here, okay? So it's being instructed to write a blog post and then instantly you could see over here, it's editing capabilities are really quite impressive. Okay, so take a look at this button on my website right here. Pretty good looking button. I really like this. And this was actually created with some custom code. So check this out. What I'll do first is I'm gonna come in here and then just copy this whole entire code right here, okay? Now here's the code. I went ahead and pasted in the chat GPT. It says, it looks like you have a custom purchase button defined for a WordPress short code with a CSS class. Pretty amazing. And then it gives me the complete description of what it is. But here is where things get even more impressive. On hover, the button changes to a purple background with a white font color. Now I just said, can you edit the code to make it have a black background, pink border, and a glowing shadow effect? And now just like that, look, as I scroll down, there it is. And now here is the code right here. Pretty amazing. But now what I want to do is really open up that canvas editor. And so down here at the bottom, I'm just going to tell ChatGPT open canvas. Okay. Just like that open canvas. And now look at this over here. There are my two columns. And now here is this new gradient button. I asked it to generate for me. And so I already copied the code. Now let's just simply paste it into our conversation. I went ahead and I pasted it immediately. Look at this. It gives me the exact details of what this is. Okay. A white background, purple border, black text in bold. But now let's do this. Let's just say open up canvas and simply just say open canvas just like that hit enter and now it's going to do this and now we're going to have our two working columns so on the left hand side there's the information and now right in front of us is going to be all the edits that chat gpt will perform for us in real time and now on the left hand side it says if you need any tweaks just feel free to ask. So let's do that. Please make the button have a gradient background with purple and blue with white text and a pink glowing outline. When I hit enter, pay special attention to the screen right in front of us. You're going to see it re-editing the code in real time. Now watch this. There we have it. And now you can see it's highlighting and it's going down to find everything. And then there it is right here. It added it as this last line. And you can see it specifically says neon blue outline glow on hover. That definitely was not there before. Okay. Pretty amazing. Now, now, one other thing to keep in mind is that as I hover over this little button right here, if I select it, it could actually read it aloud. So let's see what happens when I select this button. I've added a neon blue outline glow on hover. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to modify. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Okay, now it is time for the moment of truth. Here we are over here on the homepage of my website. And then you can see right here, here is the original button. Okay, that is going to be the custom one I got earlier. And then these buttons up here were actually transformed into this style. Okay, so here we are. And then here is this actual button right here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And then there's the code. Okay, there's the code from the original one. Simply what I'm going to do now is just come back over here and make sure I get the HTML short code right here. Okay, so here is the HTML short code. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and copy this one and now paste my short code right here. And now let me look at the CSS. There is the CSS for the original one. I'm going to go ahead and then delete all of that. Come back over here into chat GPT and now simply copy and paste all of this CSS code, just like this. Come back over here and now paste it into my website, just like that. And let's go ahead and hit save and now see what happens. Look at that. There it is with that glow. Now, Let's see what happens on the hover if it did exactly what I was looking for. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. It gave me everything I was wanting with that nice hover. Now let's move on and let me show you something else that's highly impressive. All right, so we're back in chat GPT and I'm just going to simply paste in all of my text. And now you can see my text right here. I basically said, help me write a blog post. Okay, here is my topic. I want it to be based on recent releases. Now, two key things you want to keep in mind. Okay, the first is I said first browse. That means by giving it the instruction of browse, it's actually actually going to look on the internet for specific information relating to my blog post topic. And then now the second thing I also said, and then write the report in Canvas. That way it's going to instruct ChatGPT to open up the Canvas editor so we can make real time adjustments. Now let's go ahead and hit enter. Now watch this. It populates and now you can see it's searching. Okay. It went ahead and searched for everything. And now there is my column on my left hand side. Beautiful job. Now let's take a look at this. Okay. Now on the left hand side, it said, it searched for sites, recent AI releases and productivity.
productivity. It did a search and then it pulled information from these websites over here. And now let's take a look at the blog post. There it is right here. Okay, perfectly done. Make more fun. And then it did just that. Look, okay, that's pretty impressive. So the real time edits are pretty cool. Okay. So now what I'm going to say is please add some titles. Now let's see if we can follow these instructions. And then there it is. Look at this. There's my main title in real time. It's producing everything that I want. Okay. One more thing. Let's highlight this right here. Okay. And now I'll say make more exciting. Okay. Make AI across industries more exciting, a little bit bland, a little bit boring AI revolutionizing industries. Okay. Better. So now you get the gist of what this can kind of do. But now before we wrap this up, let me show you one more very helpful thing you're going to love. Now here is my script for a recent video I uploaded in Canva. I'm going to go ahead and now download this as a PDF. Okay. Directly from Canva. I'm now going to come in here to chat GPT. Let's go ahead and open up a brand new chat. And then now what I'll do is I am going to upload this over here in the actual conversation. So I'm going to click and drag my file that I just downloaded and I'm dropping it right here. And now there it is. And I said, help me draft a blog post from my notes, write it in canvas. And based on the information, please add more relevant information to it. So let's see if it does that. Now hit that send button and now watch this. Okay. There it is. Canvas opened up. And now we have these two columns working hand in hand on the left and right hand side. So it literally took my whole entire PDF and it said, I drafted the blog post based on your notes and added more relevant information to expand on the ideas presented. And so as I scroll down and I can look at this, this looks phenomenal. Now check this out. Here's where things get taken to a whole new level. Now what I'll do next is notice right here, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. Okay. This specific camera, Canon EOS R5. Now watch this. Now I'm going to say, ask chat GPT. So when I use this camera in specific prompts to generate images, this camera makes some amazing looking images when I use this in prompts. But now what I'll say is please replace this camera with a different, more expensive one. And it did just that. Leica SL 2 S. Now that is amazing because when I saw that it could do this, that just made me realize that now sky is the limit for our image generation prompts. You can do this for anything. If you have a specific prompt that you like, let's say a specific camera angle, a lens, or in this case, the camera that I just showed you, you could do the same exact thing. You can hover over and highlight a specific topic or description or a camera and now ask chat GPT to replace it with anything else. Let's just say I hover over golden hour with sunlight softly. Now I'm going to ask chat GPT. I said, now rewrite this, but as the opposite description, let's see if we get something different besides golden hour. Okay. Pretty cool. During blue hour with shadows deepening and light fading. That is incredible because golden hour is going to be like more of like a sunrise or a dusk. And then blue hour is going to be right before the sun is about to set. Fantastic. So there you have it. And honestly, I didn't even scratch the surface of what this thing can do. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.